Hello, this is Kevin with 3G Store, and today we're going to take a look at how you can use a diversity antenna to cut down on RF interference and get a better overall wireless signal to your USB modem or hotspot. We're going to do a couple tests now. The first is going to be with a USB modem with no antenna plugged in, just using its internal antennas. We're going to do a speed test and see what type of results that we can get. So we'll zoom in here and go on the computer and hit begin test. Now in this location, I've tested this a few times before, our Verizon signal is very weak. We have a great signal outside, but sometimes we can't even get the speed test to run. You'll notice that right now it is trying to even select a server to test off of, and I don't know if we're going to get very far here. We'll go ahead and speed things up though and see if we get a result. So after letting it sit, the status light on our modem is actually now blinking red. So we even lost our connection to the internet in the location we're testing this in. So by itself, certainly not usable. So let's go ahead and plug in a single antenna and see what results we have. So now we have a single antenna plugged into the back of our UML290 modem. The antenna we're using is a 6 inch booster antenna. This applies to any antenna though, whether you're using just an antenna or an antenna and an amplifier. So we're going to go ahead and reload our speed test page. And we will zoom in and run a speed test with a single antenna. So you'll notice right away where we didn't have connectivity before, now we actually have a usable connection. We're getting an 86 millisecond ping time and there is some download speed. We'll let this run here, I'll speed things up a bit. And there's our result. We went from using no antenna and a completely unusable internet service to now having a usable internet, although very slow still. So now we're going to go ahead and add a second antenna. We're going to use the exact same antenna and plug it into the diversity port on the back of the modem and see if we have an improved result. So now we have both of our antennas plugged in. We now have our diversity set up for our modem. We're going to zoom in one more time and hit test again and do a speed test. So our ping times have cut in half and <laughs> look at the download speed go. So now as opposed to having a one and a half meg download speed, we are at nearly 20 megabits and our upload speed looks like it's going to peak out around the 9 to 10 megabits per second range, 9.5. So using that second antenna, we have certainly proven that we can get a completely usable connection. We're getting a bigger piece of the tower and we're getting the most bang for the buck out of our internet service. So we have cut down on interference, we've cut down on all that reflection and really done a lot for our service. And just to show you the location that we're testing in, we're not in some perfect white walled room, this is actually our testing environment in the warehouse here, and right out the window is our service. For more information, visit 3gstore.com, and for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel.